welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda. Today I have a collective styling haul for you. I got some items from Boohoo, JLux Label, Pretty Little Thing, and Misguided. I'm going to show you each item that I got and then you'll see me style the outfits after that. So just keep on watching. Okay, so the top that I'm wearing is not technically what I was going to include in the haul, but since I have another bodysuit of the exact same thing in a different color, I decided I would just talk about it real quick. Um, so this bodysuit is from JLux Label. It is kind of, um, it's almost more of like an athletic material than your normal bodysuit. It's not slinky. It's stretchy. Um, I did size up. If you know anything about JLux Label or if you have never shopped there before, um, I always size up no matter what I'm buying because I've found that their items do tend to run small, um, especially with bodysuits. I don't know if it's just me, but I always size up in bodysuits no matter where I buy them from. Um, but with JLux Label, I knew that it would be really important to do that because of their sizing. So I actually got this in a large. Normally I would be a medium. All right, so first thing that I'm gonna talk about before I get into the clothing are the accessories that I bought. So I did get this bag from JLux Label. Um, I loved this bag. It sort of has like a Bottega inspired look to it, um, which I thought was really cute. And I like that it had the gold chain in the front. It just adds that extra special something to your outfit. Um, you don't have to keep the strap on it. You can carry it like a clutch. Um, I decided to put the strap on it because I thought it looked kind of cool as a crossbody. Um, and I was never planning to wear it as a crossbody, but when I tried it on like that, I actually really like it. Um, I got it in this taupe color. I will put somewhere on the screen the, the name of the color and the price that I got it for. I did get these during the 40% off um, Black Friday sale. So, you know, I had to run in and snatch some items. Okay, next sort of, it's not technically an accessory, it's a shoe. But next item that I got are these boots from Pretty Little Thing. And I'm actually kind of surprised that I haven't seen anyone on YouTube review these yet. Um, these are so cool and so different than any of the other boots that I've seen this season. So I'm kind of shocked that, or maybe it's just me, maybe I haven't seen any videos of people reviewing them, but um, I really liked this boot. I was drawn to it because it has a patent leather finish here, and then it has a suede finish um, on the rest of the boot. I also loved it because as you can tell, I like to wear gold and these boots have sort of a gold buckle detail on them, which I thought was something special and something so unique. And I, I like those items that can sort of make your outfit stand out and look a little different than anyone else's. It's not just your average basic black boot, which there's nothing wrong with, but sometimes you want a little something special, you know? And these are so comfortable, by the way. I got them a half a size bigger. I usually wear a size eight. I got them in an eight and a half because you know, I just want, I wanted to make sure that I would be comfortable wearing them and they're perfect. And then another cool thing about this boot is that instead of having to lace it all the way up every time you put them on, they do have a side zipper um, and the zipper is really easy to get up and down. So I loved that also. I mean, who wants to be bothered lacing up their boot every single time they put it on? Not me. Continuing on with JLux label items, I did get this gray bodysuit. Um, again, I sized up in this. I got a medium. So normally in something fitted and in a stretchy jersey material like this, I would probably get a small just because I wanna make sure that there's no like bagginess in the back, which you can get sometimes if it's a little too big. Um, I like for things like this to be super fitted, but knowing JLux label, I did size up and I got a medium for that reason. And there's no bagginess in the back. It stays nice and fitted. This bodysuit is really cool because it has a seam in the middle here, right where your waist hits. And I think it added, I think it was really flattering. I know it's such a minor detail, but when I tried it on, I found that that seam really helped accentuate your waist being smaller than your hips. 
It is double lined. I love JLux Labels items because most of their jersey material things are double lined. A lot of their stuff is double lined. This is not, this bodysuit is not, but with jersey materials and things like that, it is double lined. And you don't have to worry about it being see-through for that exact reason. Um, I was kind of worried about if I got this bodysuit, it would be a little too see-through. But honestly, it's not see-through at all. Because of the double lining, you don't even have to worry about that. I even did a bend over test. Um, I looked in the mirror, bending over every which way that I could, and there was no see-through happening. So I was really happy and impressed with that. And I'll put on the screen somewhere the pricing and all that. Okay, still on the JLux label train. I've had my eye on this item for a little while and I finally got it. This is a cropped Borg jacket. Um, the sleeves are kind of ballooned out. I, they have a little cuff at the end so they don't, they allow you to kind of cover your hands but it won't fall all the way over your hands. It's pretty fitted around your um, wrist. They have two real pockets in the front so you can slide your phone or whatever in there. I got this one in a medium because I knew, you know, with the sleeves being kind of ballooned and a little bit bigger than your average sleeve, I kind of, I figured a medium would do it and I was right. Um, this is very cropped. This isn't just like cropped, like normal cropped like where your the top of your jeans would normally hit you this is cropped like it's hitting a little above where the top of your high-waisted jeans would go and i like that i feel like that definitely shows off you know your hourglass shape or whatever it just accentuates the bottom half of your body if you don't like that then i wouldn't recommend getting something like this but if you're wanting to accentuate the, the lower part of your body. I think a super cropped item is pretty good for that. This is pretty thick. I found it to be really warm. So it's not just, you know, a look cute item. It will also keep you really warm, at least where it's covering you because it doesn't cover that much. It's kind of a slinky material lined on the inside. So, you know, you're not itchy with the Borg material or anything like that. And the lining does go all the way through the sleeves. Um, so you have a full lining all the way inside the sleeves and um, inside of the normal part of the jacket. So you don't have to really worry about any itching. The only thing I would say is that this collar doesn't really fold down very much. It's kind of, you kind of have to force it to fold down. So um, it sits a little high on the neck, but you can get it to fold down if you really want to. And I decided to pair the board jacket with my gray bodysuit. I thought it would be really cute together and I was right. So I paired it with the gray bodysuit and some Perspect heels. Um, you don't have to wear Perspect heels. You could just wear like white Air Force Ones and some socks or, you know, any other white shoes. But I feel like if you wear white shoes, it will really look cute together. Um, white shoes, white jacket, gray bodysuit, super cute. Next item I got is still JLux label. Um, these were out of stock for a while. These are the leather look joggers. Yeah, they're joggers. They're cuffed at the bottom. They have the same material cuff at the bottom as they do on the waistband. Um, and then for the rest of the pant, you have that sort of leather look material. It has a seam down the front, which I really like. It adds a little bit more detail. I feel like JLux Label is very good at that. They're good at adding a little something to give it a little bit more detail than your average basic item. It has pockets. Um, one thing about these, when I was looking at them on the website, I was really kind of worried about what size to get because I knew the leather material or the leather look material um, wouldn't be very stretchy. So I figured I could get a medium, but to be safe, I got a large and I'm glad that I did. I could have gotten away with wearing a medium, um, but I wouldn't have been as comfortable in them. I feel like with this sort of material, it's okay to have them fitted, but when, honestly, when you have a big butt like I do, um, it just doesn't work. This material doesn't work being fitted for big butts. It is what it is. So yeah, long story short, I got the large. So I paired these pants with the white JLux label bodysuit and Perspect heels. Um, I felt like it came together really cute. The jacket that I paired with that outfit is from Boohoo. So this is a beige and white houndstooth print sort of um, 
almost like a blazer style jacket and the tones actually worked really well with the pants. Now, you don't have to wear this with that outfit. In fact, you could probably just get away with wearing the joggers and the bodysuit together with the heels and just like a bag or something like that. But if it's gonna be cold out, you know, I thought this would be really cute to go with it. And I was right, I really liked the way that it looked. Um, I've been looking for an outfit to pair with this jacket and finally I found something that I'm satisfied with. So I got this Boohoo jacket in a US 8, which I think is like a medium. It's on the bigger side of medium, um, just because I wanted to make sure that I could wear like a hoodie under it if I wanted to. And I styled that outfit with my new Desi on red sunglasses with the, um, they're the brown tortoiseshell version. Uh, if you haven't seen my video on my Desi sunglasses haul, go and check that out. I'll leave it linked below or I'll recommend it. Next item I got are these leather look uh, pants from Misguided. They aren't too shiny, which is why I got these. Some leather look pants can be a little too shiny and that's cute. I, I'm all for that look, but for the looks that I wanted to put together with these pants, I really wanted something a little less shiny, but still give you that leather look. So I got these pants in a US 8 and they fit really nicely. They're nice and fitted, which is how I wanted them to be. Um, I am 5'5", five five and they do stop right at my ankle, which kind of irritates me a little bit. I want them to be, I'd rather them be, you know, all the way down my ankle or just a little bit higher above my ankle. So it kind of hits in an awkward place on me, but also it could be because I'm curvy and it brings the sides up and it's a whole thing. Um, but I paired these pants with my aviator jacket that I'll show you in a second and uh, the white bodysuit that I got from JLux Label. I also paired it with my pretty little thing boots that I've already showed you. I actually really like these pants. Um, here's the back of them. Part of the reason too that I really loved the way these pants fit is the pockets are small. Um, I really like pants that have small pockets in the back. I feel like it kind of, it's more flattering for your butt or it actually, I should say it accentuates your butt a little bit. So if that's the look you're going for, then these will do it for you. Next item that I got, I'm just really excited about. Um, I was trying to get this jacket for a while and every time I went on the website, it was sold out in the size. It sells out super quick. So if you find this on the website, I would get it right away. They have a similar one in stock, at least the last time that I checked, they have a similar one to this uh, in stock now, but it's not exactly the same. So this is the black aviator jacket from Misguided. I got this in a US 8 and it still fits me a little oversized. I love the material on the inside. This is like a short, faux fur so it's not like long hair or anything like that but it's like a short faux fur on the inside really really soft i love how this feels on this is super thick it will for sure keep you warm this isn't just a cute jacket it's definitely gonna keep you warm like if i wanted to wear this to san francisco i'd be good i wouldn't worry about the wind and the cold and being by the bay like this is it what I really liked about it were all the zippers. I really liked that um, it had like this buckle around the collar. It had the zipper on the side and then another zipper pocket on the side. I thought that looked so cool. It added a really just, it just made it stand out from the other aviator jackets that I've seen. This is the cuff on the arm. And then I really liked the huge buckle around the, the wrist part. And this is the back of it, but I really love this jacket. This is probably my favorite jacket that I've picked up all season. Okay, next item that I got is from J Lux Label again. It's the same joggers that I showed you before that were like that beige tone, but this time I got them in black. Um, actually, I probably would wear it with this bodysuit that I'm wearing right now. And that's actually what I intended on getting it to wear with. But I also got these joggers in a large 
and I'm really glad that I did. I'm so glad that I got these in black also. I really love these. Woo! Pardon the interruption. <laughs> so I paired the joggers with this random white bodysuit that I already had in my closet and this boohoo jacket that I will show you in just a second. Get into this jacket. This is the cutest thing I think I've gotten besides my aviator jacket and my Borg one actually. No, I probably shouldn't say that because I like them all equally. I love all my babies equally. Don't discriminate. Okay. But this is um, a houndstooth, really thin uh, throw on jacket. I would say that this fits and feels a little bit more like a shacket than a jacket, but the material is like a woven knit, I think. It stood out to me because of the print. I really liked that it was just your traditional black and white, and I loved how long it was. So this goes down, this goes down about past my knee, just past my knees, which I really liked. Sometimes you just want something to throw on, not too heavy, but it's still gonna be super long to kind of wrap yourself up in. And this, I have so many visions for this. I'll show you how I styled it, but there's so many other ways that I wanna style this. I'm so excited about this piece. It has two pockets in the front with uh, tortoise shell buttons. And then the sleeves, And then the sleeves are cuffed at the bottom like this, which is really cute. Um, it's gonna look really good when you scrunch it up your arm. It kind of, you'll, you'll get that sort of balloon effect when you scrunch it up your arm, which I really like. So it looks cute wearing the sleeve all the way down or scrunched up, honestly, because of the way that they did the cuff and the way that the sleeve balloons out from it. So I styled this jacket for the purpose of this video. I styled it with my black J-Lux label joggers and like I said, a random white bodysuit that I already had. And I could see myself either dressing down and wearing it with my pretty little thing black boots or even my perspect heels. Okay guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed the way that I styled the pieces that I got. Stay tuned because I'll be uploading another video on Sunday. Uh, make sure you hit the notification bell so that you get notified when that happens. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time.